Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous session, we have learned about the aggregation, introduction of the aggregation operators. Now in this video, we will see the real time implementation, how we can do the aggregation operation. Let's try to see aggregation pipeline. Let's try to see. We already seen, we already learned that aggregation pipeline consists of one or more stages that process the documents. So in order to process the document, aggregation pipeline contains one or more stages. So we have already discussed about this one. So now I will take a simple orders collection. Here let's try to add an orders collection. db dot orders dot insert insert many. I will try to like take this one. Insert many. And here I will be having name pizza name so there is nothing but pepperoni and the size of this one is small so we'll be having size of this one as a small and you can have another one is a quantity of 14 so these are the things so here i am having a orders so first one is a pepperoni pre pizza and the size of that pizza is a small and the quantity is 14 so let's try to press enter so this is one document got inserted. So here I will try to take another one, the same pepperoni. So it is of size medium and the quantity will be something around five. So that's it. So next I will take another one that is nothing but cheese, cheese pizza. So here I'm adding some documents. So this one is also having quantity of 10. Let's say, let's say the 10. And we'll try to add another one, cheese pizza only. So we will be having another medium quantity will be something like orders. So five we got it. Now we will uh, add another one is pepperoni. It's the same thing. The medium size and quantity is five. The last uh, another one what we will try to add is a vegan. And quantity is vegan. So let's try to add another one last one. So cheese, pizza, pepperoni. Okay, I will add the pepperoni again, medium size. That's it. So now if you try to see db dot orders dot find. So here we are having one, two, three, four. So four pepperoni are there. So out of this, only one is small, and the remaining are medium pizzas. And we are having two cheese pizza, which is of size medium, and vegan is which is of size medium. So now what I want to do is here I want to get only the medium pizzas so only the pizzas which are in which is having a size of medium so what can you do is here normally db dot orders orders sorry orders dot find so you will have this one where size is of type medium so this is common if you try to see we will get only the pizzas which is having uh, size medium so in aggregate, if you want to do is, so how you can do is aggregate. So here you can write aggregate, aggregate, and this one takes an array. And here you need to pass series of pipelines. So here I will try to remove this one. So I will press enter. So series of pipelines. So first one is one object. There is nothing but match. So first it will take use of this find or find thing. And it will take use of this indexes also. So there is a reason I am first trying to add match. And here I can say size of medium. Medium. Now let's try to close it. So array and here right. So if I try to press enter, the same output we will be able to get the same output. So using the aggregate dollar match, same thing like find operator, we can write a filter condition. So whatever the condition you are writing in the find method, the filter condition. So the same filter condition you can write it in the match. Now the advantage of this aggregate is. So now we can now the, here there is only the pipeline of stages only one stage is there now we can group so for example here the pepperonis are how many pepperonis are there orders so size medium thing one two three pepperoni orders are there and how many orders are there for the medium size cheese one two and how many how many vegan pizza orders are there only one so we need to get the count of these medium size pizzas by their names okay i want to group the same name pizza which is of medium size by their names i want to get the total count so how can i do so let's try to see so here db dot orders dot aggregate aggregate 
and here it is an array so we need to pass array of steps so here i will try to write so i am not closing that one why because so that we can write it in the next stage next step here first step is dollar match first of all we need to filter the pizzas of size medium now i want to group group them so let's try to keep a comma and next one is dollar group i want to group them so here next stage we am writing trying to write the next stage so now only the medium pieces will be went as a will be will be will go as a will go as an out input to the group thing and in this group we need to mention the what are the values so here by which by which uh, field we need to group it with the name so we need to group by name so that means whatever the uh, field you want to group by you need to mention it as an id here so id we already know that we will be mentioning the id in the mongodb as a unique identifier so we will be having object id or otherwise you will be having a number or a string like that right whereas in the aggregate the meaning of the id is little bit changed that is nothing but in the group when you are trying to use an id so you are grouping by that name okay by that field so here i want to group with the name so you you want to mention dollar name not the name name means it comes the string dollar name means you are telling that whatever the documents that are coming as an input to the group in that group take that name field as a take take that name field not the string so now what i want to do so i want to get the total okay and here we have a aggregation pipeline operators so first operator is dollar sum and you can mention it as 1 so here it will automatically the mongodb will calculate the will calculate the sum so group by names it will calculate it will count the values by their names now if i try to press enter so let's try to press like this and dot pretty if i try to use it press enter see now we are able to get cheese pizza medium size we are having total of 2 and here we are having pepperoni total of 3 we get total of 1 it's correct now what i want to do is the quantities has been ordered by the pizza right i want to sum those all the quantities what can i do is here instead of write this is the thing right so let's try to write it again or otherwise so we will have a practice so first time we are trying to do it right all the all them let's try to practice with me also then you will understand so here first one is i need to match it dollar match and here i need to use size which is of type medium and the next one is dollar group okay dollar group and here i need to use underscore id i want to group by name so if you want you can also use an object also so you can say that pizza and you can use a dollar name so that you will get id as an object so in either way you can use it so now we are grouping it by the name now here i want to use it mm, total you can use the total so total number of count you can get it dollar sum 1 and also you can have a total quantity you can use a total quantity and this is nothing but dollar sum so quantity you need to add the uh, quantity sum it needs to have right so you need to mention the field name quantity that's it if you try to press enter okay now here i need to close it And if you try to press enter, so we are getting an error here. So what is that one? Pipeline stage object must pipeline stage specification object must contain. Okay, here some problem is there. I think so. Let's try to get have it uh, with dollar name only. Sorry. Yeah, here we'll try to have with the dollar name ID, dollar name. Let's try to check it. Now try to try press enter. What happened here? So any problem is there or what? Uncaught error. So let's try to see it again. So let's try to write it again. So maybe some syntax errors. Maybe it will be having db dot orders dot aggregate aggregate, and here it will be having an array. Let's remove this one. So slowly we'll write dollar match, and here I can write something like. Uh, Size should be small. Uh, sorry, medium. You can also use the small also. And here I can use the comma. And here I can use dollar group. And this group should be underscore id. And here this one will be 
if you want you can use the pizza and dollar name okay and here i can use so this is the thing right yeah piece and total total will be of dollar sum of one total will be dollar sum of one <coughs> and the quantity we need to get it right total quantity or quantity whatever the name and here i can have dollar sum it should be dollar quantity okay dollar quantity and here i can write something like this right press enter see now we are able to get this time id is a object pepperoni total is 3 and the count is the sum of all the total three items 15 and the total is 2 15 and total is 1 5 if you want you can also check with the size of small also we know that size small we have only vegan i think i didn't remember exactly small pepperoni i don't remember so we have only one pepperoni smile size total is one and the quantity is 14 so if you try to check db dot orders dot find and here you'll be able to see size we are having only one that is nothing but pepperoni size and the quantity of this one is 14 okay so this is how so quantity is 14 so this is how we can group the data by their name and we can calculate the total quantity by doing the uh, sum so for example pepperoni total is 3 is there 15 right pepperoni medium this is a 5 and pepperoni here 5 and pepperoni here also 5 5 plus 5 plus 5 15 and here cheese is there total to 15 cheese means so here 10 plus 5 and here we are having total 1 quantity 5 means so here so this is how we can calculate the we can group these all stages so dollar match does the filter thing and dollar group filters the data with the pizza name and with the quantity so this is all about how to how to do the basic thing using the dollar match and the dollar group pipeline operators hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you